Iconic university ensnared in a sex abuse scandal involving young boys. The question, did a legendary football coach do enough to stop it? In 2002, when a graduate assistant claimed to see Sandusky raping a boy roughly 10 years old in the team showers. The next morning, the assistant went to Paterno's home and told him what he saw. 2002, Mike McQuarrie, current Penn State wide receivers coach, then a grad assistant. He saw Sandusky raping a young boy in a shower. If you witness a rape, you call the police. You don't call your supervisor. A graduate assistant at the time reported seeing Sandusky raping a 10-year-old. Guys, he should have been guys, beat there down. Is, there are no, sometimes there are graves. This is the most horrific yes. thing you can do. It's pretty disturbing. Here's a man that was told that a 10-year-old boy was being sodomized in his backyard and did nothing about it. And Joel almost People said that think no they know the story of the Jerry Sandusky scandal, but they don't. The media created a largely false narrative to fit their own agenda. And not only is there no evidence currently that Joe Paterno was the villain of this situation, had the media wanted to, they actually could have made Joe Paterno the hero of this case. In fact, they almost did. On the day of the indictments, Sarah Gannon, who would later win a Pulitzer Prize for her coverage, wrote a story with a clear source, headline, Penn State coach Paterno praised for acting appropriately in reporting Jerry Sandusky sex abuse suspicions. That's stunning in retrospect. The media is no longer constructed to handle a story as complex as this one, because we don't have the attention spans and the media doesn't have the expertise. They don't care about details. They don't care about the facts. And that's part of why we're doing this documentary, to get the real truth out there. But we need help. We need support. We can't do this alone. This is the hardest thing we've ever done. We're going uphill into the wind on ice with lead bricks around our feet because everybody's against us on this. The only thing we've got going for us is the truth. And I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. I hope it is. I actually have my doubts. But the truth has got to still matter. And we're going to find out when we do this documentary whether it still does.